from Kimberbell, and today I want to show you how easy it is to take one of our Kimberbell tote blanks and line it with a really darling fabric. Let's get started. All right, so when you take this tote out of your package, here is what it's going to look like. It's going to look a little odd at first, right? You've got a handle on each end, and you've got these open side seams. That's what makes a Kimberbell tote so unique, because the side seams are already surged, like you can see here, and that way you can take this to your embroidery machine, even your sewing machine, maybe you want to paint it, all kinds of crafty kinds of things can be placed on this front panel. Once it's done, all you do is you put right sides together and sew up the sides. It really is that simple. But today, I actually want to take it a step further and actually line it with some beautiful fabric. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to box those corners so you have a little more depth to your bag. Let's get started. So I've laid my bag here flat and I want to measure the length and the width. So the length of this is, always measure because they might be a slightly off, but this is 36 inches. From side to side here, it's 21 inches. So I wanna cut a piece of fabric that is 21 inches wide and 36 inches in length. So I've already done that here with this vintage flora fabric from Kimberbell. All right. Again, this fabric matches the tote fabric. It's 36 inches long and it's 21 inches wide. Now, at this point, I actually want to keep this folded in half so that I have two pieces. So cut right down in the middle. In fact, I could just do that with, a, with scissors right along the fold line or I could get really, really close like I'm gonna do here so that I barely trim any off and have it cut directly in half. All right, so now I've got my two pieces. One of them, or each one of them I should say, is the 21 inches width and now it's 18 inches uh, long. What I wanna do is actually take my tote, I'm gonna to set this aside, take my tote and sew up the sides, each side, and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to box the corners, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the lining, but I'm gonna leave a little opening in that lining that you'll never see in the end. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and fold this in half so that the handles match and the side seams match. And I can place a few uh, pins or little clips in there just to keep that together when I sew. And on this side as well. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna sew up the sides. I could leave it literally just like that and be done with the tote. Or I could take it one step further and box those corners, which I'm gonna show you how to do. I'm going to sew each side with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so I have my side seams all sewn up, but now to box those corners, I'm just gonna simply pinch the corner whoop, fabrics and spread it apart like this so that you have a nice little triangle there. You've got your point up here, this is where the fold line is, and then you just uh, spread it out so you form a triangle. This seam goes right down the middle of the triangle and then you're gonna measure two inches from the very top point corner down and then draw a horizontal line. So from here to here is two inches. So I'm just going to, in fact, I can even use my mat if I want, draw your horizontal line, and that is what you're gonna stitch on. Just to hold it in place, I'm gonna put a few clips here. And I'm gonna do the same for the other corner. We're gonna start here at the top where the fold is. 
I'm going to take both sides of that fabric and just pinch it so that it creates a triangle like that. You see that that seam is right smack down the center. I wanna measure two inches from this very top point down and then mark it with a line. Okay. So now I can go back to the sewing machine, just sew directly on that line and I am almost done with this bag. It really is that simple. Let's do it. All right, now that I've done that, I wanna trim off that extra fabric by trimming it about a quarter inch beyond the stitch line, and then we're ready to line the bag. Turn that bag inside out. Got your cute boxed corners. And then we'll just set it aside. Look how nice that is. Gives it a little bit more depth, more space there. Okay, so that's done. Now let's get to that lining. And remember those two pieces that we cut earlier? Well, it's time to sew them together just like we did before with this bag. So we're gonna place right sides together. We're gonna start sewing about this point. You wanna leave an opening, I guess I should say, about uh, 10 or so inches. So we're gonna start about this point. In fact, I'll put a little clip there just to remind me to start there. I will sew, let's take it this way. I will sew all the way over here up to this side. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Let's clip this. And so here and up. You wanna make sure this is left open for obvious reasons. And you wanna make sure this is also left open so that you can turn your bag inside out. Stop a quarter inch from the corner and pivot. Now that we have that side done, we're gonna do this side going straight down and then all the way to this out, um, edge. So once again, this is your bottom edge and you left that gap, that little opening about 10 inches or so. And now it's sewn up on the sides and then this whole side is completely open. But we wanna do what we did before with the tote. We wanna box the corners. So we're gonna do the exact same thing along the bottom. We're going to find this edge and pinch the fabric so it forms a triangle right, just like we did before. And now we're going to measure two inches from the top with the seam smack down the middle of that triangle and mark it. And then do the same thing for the other side. And pinch it so it forms a triangle, seam down the middle. It does not get much easier than that. One, two. All right, let's go. Now we wanna trim off those corners. So I'm gonna place my ruler here and just go a quarter inch beyond, just like we did before. Let's turn to the next corner, quarter inch beyond the stitch line. That's hard to see with that white thread, isn't it? All right, there we go. Now, instead of turning this one inside out, we're just gonna keep it as is for a moment because the next thing we wanna do is actually place the outside tote that has the handles on it inside of this back, okay? Now, the other thing I wanna show you is that this tote has these handles that I want to move the handles to the front of the tote, all right? So right there, in order to keep it there and out of the way, I'm just going to uh, place the little clip there. And again, this is going towards the outside or the front 
of the tote. I would repeat that on the other side. That's gonna keep that tote out of the way and not get caught up in the machine. Okay, there we have it. Now that that's done, I'm gonna actually put the bag inside of the lining. And this is so cool how it comes together. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna just match up my little side seams here. So I've got a side seam there. I'm gonna match my side seam with the lining and clip. Or you can use pins, either way. Okay, and then I'm gonna match my other side seam with this one, as you can see here, and clip. And then put a whole bunch of clips in between. Oh, make sure that handle is nice and tucked in there. <laughs> you don't want that escaping. Here we go. Okay, when I get to this handle, I'm just gonna make sure it's still in there and just clip on top, okay? Now, all you're gonna do is take it back to the sewing machine, sew a quarter inch around the entire uh, top of your bag, and when you go, go over the um, handles, just, you might wanna slow down your machine just a bit because those are thicker areas. So slow down your machine and you should be fine. Um, also, if you have a walking foot and your machine is just not moving that fabric through, it's certainly okay to use that too. But for me, I think we're gonna be okay just to slow the machine down. Let's go ahead and go to that point. All right, you're almost done. You have about two more steps, so stay with me. Now you've got this opening at the bottom. Remember about that 10 inch opening? Well, it's time to use it. So we're gonna flip this through, okay. Ah, look at that beautiful fabric. Okay, and then we're gonna tuck it inside the back. But before we do, I wanna sew up this opening, okay? That little gap that we had left you don't want all of your stuff in your bag to slide through it. So I'm just gonna put uh, right sides together, just put it uh, about a quarter inch in on each side. You could even press it at this point, but I'm just gonna eyeball it here and stitch, do a top stitch. You can do this on your machine or you could do it by hand. I'm gonna choose the machine a lot faster. And I'm just going to do it right along that edge. Make sure you backstitch too at the beginning and the end. Okay, Ooh, you're almost done. Okay, so that's closed. We're going to tuck it in so we can see the beauty of this bag. And then we're going to do one last step, which is to top stitch along the top. Let's get that there. Okay, now I'm done tucking that lining inside the tote, and now it's time to finish off the top edge. So normally, when you go to put a lining into a bag, you might think about rolling it. Come on over here, let me show you. What you normally might do is to roll the, the edge of the fabric with the top edge of the tote, and then do a top stitch. You certainly could do that, but there's a couple reasons why I would tell you not to. First, is if you do that, you're gonna get so much extra bulk in this handle area that's gonna be really difficult to sew over. You might break a needle and such. So uh, we don't wanna do that. So I'm instead going to keep the handle down like this and let that fabric from the inside roll over the top edge of the tote. It's just gonna naturally fall in place so that you have about a quarter inch of this uh, lining fabric showing. It makes a really cute decorative edge across all the way around the tote, which I absolutely love. So I think you're gonna love this method too. Not only is it easier, but it's also, it just adds a whole lot of cuteness to it. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. I could press it at this point, but I'm at, right now I'm actually going to place some of these pins or these clover clips right here and uh, stitch in the ditch. I can either stitch in the ditch, I should say, or if you'd like, you could do a top stitch right across uh, the bottom of that fabric line. And then when you get over to the handles, it's okay to just stitch again right across them 
notice my handle is facing down and then when it's time to you know carry your bag it's going to naturally uh, be folded up so there you have it let's go ahead and stitch away